Hi everybody. Well, let's see here. I think that I could probably move things over a little bit. I never know what it's going to look like until I actually turn it on for a video. Yeah, maybe that's maybe that's good. Okay, this is my jelly plate and I'm going to do a little bit of jelly plating here for spring. And um, for this, for if you're new, I use a roller, also known as a brayer. Mine is Speedball. And I'm going to start off with some blue, a bit of blue. And just gonna spread it. Kind of got a lot on there, my rollers slipping around a little bit. So I was thinking of putting a second color, but I think I will not do that because I have plenty of paint. And then I just brayer off to the side. That means kind of roll off the extra paint that might be on your roller bit brayer type thingy. And um, next I'm going to use um, Let's see, flower, I think I'll use a flower. And for this, I'm just gonna stamp off to the side. Random places. I always feel like I've never done this before when I try it for the first time. Um, I think I'll use a magazine paper. I generally do um, jelly plating once a season. So I haven't done the spring colors. You can see how that how that looks. Here's some good ones. And then I'll just set this off to the side. And I'll try that again, but this time not with so much paint.
begin with the magazine. Advertisements. I didn't use a, a stamp this time. And I like that there's some, some left on the plate. Let's see. Once more with blue. And I'm just going to try some, I'm not going to take a pull on that one just yet. I'm just going to put down some green and see what happens with that. And this is Limeade Apple Barrel. And I'm going for the spots that have the flower image on there, the stamp. This is, I'm not sure, I think this is watercolor paper. And we'll see how this turns out. So there's how that looks. Um, I'm going to put this to the side to dry for a minute. A little bit more blue. Let's see. I guess I'll stick with the flower for now. You need to stamp off to the side after each each time. See if see what the pink will get me. I 
This is Pink Parfait and it's Apple Barrel. Jelly printing is very fun. I have a kind of a thing for jelly plates. I don't know what it is. I don't know why. Spray her off. This is something my granddaughter did while she was here. She always leaves me love notes. She's such a sweetie. I think I'll try the pink again on one that has dried. One thing about here in Arizona, it doesn't take long for anything to dry. I was going to use one I had already done. Let's see. This is the one that turned out like that. Sorry. The colors are pretty, but I'm only seeing a faint, faint um, image of the flowers. So I think I'll put this over here and try it again. This time I'll try with that thinner paper and with this is King's Gold. Almost anything you do with the jelly plate gives you a background uh, to work off of. little bird design.
Now I'm getting the uh, bits from underneath and that turned out really pretty. Um, you can see the flower stamp from before and there's uh, the bird stamp is barely showing. So I'm going to try that again. A little bit of blue, sky blue, apple barrel. I got a lot of blue on there. So I'm just gonna Use the leaves. This is the leaves. Since spring is giving us some new growth on the trees. I think this is mixed media paper. In fact, as I'm sure of it, so I'm just going to see how this goes. And there's how that turned out. Pretty nice. So I'm going to let this dry for a minute and put some green down. And I need to check my time, 18 minutes, still okay. My phone won't record um, over 30 minutes. In fact, I try to catch it before it gets up to 30 minutes. There we go. That's a little darker green, Kelly green from Apple Barrel. Apple Barrel um, is generally sold at Walmart uh, near me. Probably other stores too. This is not quite dry, but almost. This one. Regular printer paper works great too. I'm just out of printer paper right now. So.
Okay. So I'm just going to use this one. It's Americana Bright Salmon. Uh -huh. Looks like it's drying up a wee bit. Yeah, we have a goober. A little bit of pineapple. And I need for this to dry for a minute. It needed to dry a little bit longer. This is the one. It's pretty. I don't see much of the pineapple stamp and that's probably because I didn't let it dry long enough. But that's, that's how that goes. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that over here. And This is the King's Gold again. Just be careful of the colors that you mix together or put together on the plate because make sure that they don't. If you want to make brown, that's, that's a good thing. Then you need to um, put colors that go together to make brown. But if you don't want brown, or shades of brown, 
then you will want to put colors together that that don't blend and make brown. I really love that. I think I'll use this little one. Up, we're at 27, so that one turned out nice. Showed up that little stamp pretty well. And so if my video cuts off, then I just need for you to know that I appreciate so much you watching. <coughs> and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And I will just, it, it's going to cut off, it's at 28, it'll cut off around 30. So I'm just going to move forward with this color. And it's at 29 now, so thanks to everyone for watching. Have a great rest of your evening, and I will talk to you next time.